Please support us here. I'm the training manager at Swinomish Casino and Lodge, and get ready for another episode of Swin TV. Are you ready to play our Swin Olympics? In February, stop by the Players Club to enter our Swin Olympics. Then you can play your favorite slots or games to boost you up the leaderboard. So participants within the same card level are going to compete with each other to win weekly prizes up to $1,500. So to get ready for the Olympics, we hit the floor to find out which Olympic games our team members like best, winter or summer. I like winter. I'm a figure skating fan. It's really the only time I can feel comfortable using words like triple cell cow and death spiral. <laughs> this is Brianna, she works at our center bar. I'm gonna have you hold the torch and answer a question for me. Okay. What is your favorite season of Olympic games, summer or winter? Definitely winter. And why is that? because of the ice skating, the speed skating. I'm here with Sheila. She is our center bar supervisor. Sheila, would you like to hold the torch? What is your favorite Olympic Games, summer or winter? Winter. And why is that? Because uh, ice skating is in winter. This is Marcus. He works at our front desk at the lodge. And we're asking questions today, but you got to hold the torch if you're going to answer the question. Oh, this is the torch? Hold the torch. So what is your favorite Olympic game, winter or summer? I do like the Jamaican bobsled team. Um, I saw a movie about it a couple years ago. Uh, cool Runnings, Peace Be the Journey, that Zanka and uh, Darius or something like that. And you always be like, Zanka, you dead man? He's like, yeah, man. You might not want to use that, but if you do, that's okay. Marcus, have you ever had a hankering of trying now? Trying out for the Olympics? <laughs> Not really. Here with Cecilia, and she is our front desk supervisor here at the lodge. You gotta hold the torch if you're gonna ask, ask, answer the question. So, what is your favorite Olympic game season? Would it be summer or winter? I really like winter because I love seeing the ice skating, especially the duets. And what kind of ice skating term can you come up with just off the top of your head? I think there's a triple spin. This is Amanda, and she works in our security department as a supervisor. You gotta hold the torch. What is your favorite season of Olympics? Do you like winter or summer? Oh, winter. I like the ice skating. My great aunt actually used to be a professional ice skater. Her name was Jeannie. Did she ever dabble in a triple sail cow? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> this is Andrea. She works here at Players Club. You gotta hold the torch. Okay. All right. <laughs> so which Olympic games do you watch or is your favorite? And that would be summer or winter? Okay, winter ice skating. Ice skating. That's a popular answer, isn't it? And what about ice skating do you like? I like the dances, the singular ones. Do you know any kind of figure skating term that you could share with me? Figure eight. That's good. <laughs> we like that. For more information, visit our Swin Olympics on our event calendar online. The next time you stop in, sign up at Players Club to start competing in the Swin Olympics. Let the games be Swin. Did you see what I did there? It's just a little play on words. One of our newest slots is Lightning Zap. Here's Terry to tell us all about it. Lightning Zap, our newest game on the casino floor. It's an innovative game with no reels and fast gameplay for non-stop excitement. The high impact audio tracks and Lightning Zap will have you at the edge of your seat, offering heart pounding excitement with each game. The Chain Zap randomly zaps one to nine additional prizes from an already awarded prize. The Super Zap randomly increases all prizes on screen by two times to seven times and awards up to 10 of them. With electrifying visuals and shocking rewards, this game is sure to become an instant favorite. Make sure to play Lightning Zap the next time you stop by Swinomish Casino and Lodge. So before we go, it's time to head to Greg for our weekly construction update. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Greg Douglas coming at you from Swinomish Casino and Lodge with another weekly construction update. We've had a lot of things going on here the last couple of weeks. Uh, we've got our final signage installed on Carver's Cafe. So if you get a chance to swing into Carver's, check that out. Our uh, graphics department here put a lot of work into that. And it's another one of those projects where we did it all in-house with our own people. Obviously, we had some outside help with getting all the graphics, plastics, and all that stuff created. But uh, that came uh, from our digital arts person, Eve. And it's beautiful, so she did a really nice job on that. Again, nice thing that we're proud of here having done internally. Uh, next thing is we've got a lot of the work done here in the new area. 
In addition to getting the Carver's Cafe signage done in the last couple weeks, we've gotten our floor done in here. Last time you guys had a chance to take a look in this area, which is where I'm standing right now is our old gaming floor. It was cut to pieces. We've got all the new walker duct in place. It'll allow us to move slot machines around, to change the floor up, and to keep things, keep things new and exciting for you. We've got uh, the area where our new games, our new table games are going to be re relocated at, installed, and ready to go. And uh, right now it's looking like about four weeks out that we're going to get this area turned back over to us and start putting machines back in, get table games moved over here and get ready to go. So pretty exciting piece for us. Next step for us is moving back into the back of the building here so the area in front of where the sports bar is, we'll be moving those machines around out of that space. Uh, the contractors will be doing the fireproofing and stuff that needs to happen back there, getting some new doors installed, uh, doing a facelift to the front of the sports bar, and then actually moving into the sports bar, closing that down for about a four week period, hopefully opening back up sometime mid to late April and getting that ready to go for you too. So lots of stuff happening. Come on in and check it out. Look forward to seeing you. Thanks, Greg. That wraps up this week's Swim TV. We'll see you next week for another episode.